So we're here at the Indian High Commission in London on the second anniversary from when India revoked Kashmir's semi-autonomous status. Now the people behind me are saying that since then India has done everything in its power to legally and demographically change the balance of power in Kashmir to prepare the ground for a complete takeover. India has been hell-bent on changing the demography of Kashmir. The people of Kashmir have been terrorized. They have been put in triple lockdown. There is no access to medical facilities, communication, journalism has all been censored and banned. The landlords have been changed by the Indian government. They are now forcing the indigenous Kashmiri Muslims who have been living in their land for the last many hundreds of years and their houses have now been burnt and demolished in order to pave a way for colonial settlement within Kashmir. New colonies are being forced and developed on the, on the land of Kashmir to inhibit the Indian settlers who have been migrated using the domicile certificates. Today, we need to stand together and make give a one message to the world, especially to the fascist Indian government, that the people of Kashmir are not alone. Our struggle is not for the 370, neither for 35A, but for a complete freedom from the illegal Indian occupation. And the people of Kashmir will continue our struggle for independence, our struggle for freedom from this illegal occupation. The world stands with the people of Kashmir. No matter where we are, whether we are in the United Kingdom, whether we are in the United States, whether we are in Australia, today we are giving our solidarity message, a message of support to the people of Indian occupied Kashmir, that we stand with you shoulder by shoulder, hand by hand, and we will continue the struggle for the right of self-determination, struggle for the freedom from the illegal Indian occupation. And inshallah, one day we will get our freedom. Two billion Muslims is supporting the Kashmir and supporting the other one like Palestine, Palestine and of course Rohingya. You have to remember, we are all united under the flag of Islam, under the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's very important, my brother. We are all united. These are all brothers and sisters in trouble. We have to help them any way we can do, any way, in peaceful way we can do. We have to lobby the government. Lobby the government. This government can do a lot. Boris Johnson can do a lot. Let's get him. Let's bring a justice to, to Kashmir. Let's bring a justice to Kashmir is very important. That's over 70 years, these are in trouble. Inshallah, within a decade, within a decade, we'll be in Kashmir, and Kashmir will be free. Today is the 5th of August, and it's been two years. They are under lockdown, they are under arrest. They have no right to come outside. Their family members are dying, and they are being buried inside of the house. Well, I want to remind you, United Nations, it's time to act now. People are suffering. It's your responsibility. Responsibility is, is lying on your shoulder to take action. Give those people, give Kashmiri people freedom and right of self-determination. Everyone have right to live. Everyone have right to breathe. Even animals have right to breathe. But why not Kashmiri people? Their blood is on your shoulder if you don't take action. We want to remind you we are here today to show solidarity with people of Kashmir, but it's not enough. We want action and we will not stop until it's done. And people of Kashmir, we are with you. We will keep on raising our voice until action is done. Our eyes and world eyes are on, on United Nations. So please do take action. हम चीन चलेंगे आजादी ये हक हमारा आजादी ये हक हमारा आजादी माय नेम इज महमूद हुसैन आई लिव इन लंदन एंड आई आई एम पार्ट ऑफ जेकेएलएफ व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट कश्मीर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एंड आउट ऑफ कश्मीर सो वी हेयर टुडे ऑन द सेकंड एनिवर्सरी ऑफ इंडियाज एबोलिशन ऑफ एक्ट 370 which gave Kashmiris uh, some sort of uh, autonomy which has been taken away 
uh, at the stroke of a pen overnight without any consultation with the people of Kashmir or the politics of the Kashmir. And um, unfortunately, uh, the situation in Kashmir is so dire that people are still under siege after two years. Uh, the media is completely gagged. Uh, no one is allowed to go and, and report anything uh, what's happening in Kashmir. Um, so all the rights we had as a Kashmiri citizen has been taken away from us. So our land has been sort of um, uh, been taken over by uh, people from India, and uh, our economies, all the economy run by the Kashmiris, the, the the fruit industry, the apple industry is completely ruined. So people are in uh, such a situation. There is matter of um, for them, it's, it's a basically, like, what can I say, it's a living hell for them. Uh, Kashmir, as you know, is probably known as a, uh, uh, um, a paradise on, on earth, but unfortunately, it's, it's quite opposite now. So we're here today just to... Um, what are you calling for today? Well, basically, the way, we, the way forward is we're just trying to let the people of the world know what's happening. We just to remind them that we're still under occupation. Uh, our uh, people, our mothers, our daughters are being raped. There's almost one million Indian army in Kashmir, uh, one of the largest concentrated army in uh, that small piece of area. So a lot of people don't know that because India is a big country, it's influential, uh, it's a strong lobby, and it gives a wrong signal to the international community where we as a Kashmiri, we don't have a means to, um, to basically um, counter India's uh, uh, India's projection of Kashmir. So we're here today to let the people know that we are still suffering. Uh, our children are losing all sorts of education. Uh, it's, a, it's a very sorry state, you know, really bad. And Would you like to see the British government put more pressure on India? Indeed, British government uh, is, is, I believe, is, is a party to it because being a colonial power at, at that country, we partly blame British government for its, uh, uh, the mess they left, they left us in the first place. So uh, they have a legal, moral obligation to try to um, put right what they've done wrong in 1947. And also, uh, as a human point of view, uh, British arms are being sold to India openly, and those arms are being uh, used on innocent Kashmiris. So I think it's made of conscience. People of uh, Britain, the British government, should play its role um, in, in a way that these atrocities, these killings on innocent Kashmiris must be stopped. Uh, on one way, they say we are defenders of uh, democracy and champion. When it comes to Kashmir, they turn a blind eye.